right, so today I'm bringing you a home built. This is the Zenith CH750 Cruiser. You may be familiar with this airplane already. And as I was talking to the owner, the builder, Bill, his name is Bill. You, you, you get to see him in a little bit. Uh, I just want to take a quick roundabout of his airplane here. So this is a Zenith 750 that he's building. As you can see, it's still in the, I wouldn't say early stages. This is more like late stage. As you see, the whole thing is almost damn near complete. And if you see all the way to the back, what's this material on? On aluminum. here? This is all aluminum. All right, all aluminum frame. As you can see here, and it's your your normal tricycle gear. Okay. Let's look at the interior just a little bit. I see they're still putting out all the cables and stuff for the rudder. This is will be where all the uh, your avionics and things like that go. Leather interior, as you can see already, and more work to be done back there. Now, if you come up front, which is where all the magic happens, this here, you said. Actually, let me get Bill on camera so we can talk to him about his airplane. Say hi to Bill. Hi, Bill. So. What engine is this that you're using for your airplane currently? It's called a UL350IS. Okay. That is uh, 130 horsepower fuel injected, uses uh, uh, car gas. Car gas? Uh, Mo gas, they call it. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, it develops 130 horsepower and do about 120 knots when I get done, hopefully. 120 knots cruise and that's on car gas on car gas is yeah. there a reason why you went particularly with this engine as compared to road tax because road tax probably owns 80 percent of the lsa and and home built market so yep. to speak you're right road tax does the one of the things i did i didn't want to have to mess around with uh, with water levels with a radiator checking the radiator all the time so okay. i went with an all air cooled engine Okay, you hear that, guys? Real good reputation. Okay. So that's why I went with it. I couldn't get a Lycoming or a Continental. They're not available anymore. Okay, and in terms of price, how how well is this engine priced as compared to everything else in the market? I uh, would say about twice as much as twice. Most others. Yeah. It's <laughs> okay. Not cheap. Okay, so it's not a cheap engine, but he likes it because it's air cooled as compared to water cold and also you mentioned something earlier when we were talking about the road tax engine you said and i think that probably has to do with the water cold uh, you said during like the cold season it's hard to get it up and going as compared to this i have heard that road tax sometimes has starting problems i've even seen it out here on real cold days oh wow okay Whereas with the fuel injected engine you turn the key boom it runs there's no mixture control, there's no carburetor heat, only control is your throttle, that's it. Okay. And it's our off and on switch. Awesome. Now, you're, how long have you been building this aer uh, airplane? I've been building it for a little over a year, uh, a year ago last January. Okay, and January what, what got you into, you told me earlier that you, you started flying early on and then you just kind of left it alone and then came back. So what, what changed your mind to come back to flying? Well, things, things came about that, uh, that I could get my pilot's license and I was talking to some guys and they said, hey, you ought to try building one. And I said, I think you're right. So wow. I did some research on the internet and I found this fine all metal airplane. There's no fabric to dope, no fabric to shrink. It's all metal, all done with what they call blind rivets or pop rivets. Okay. And it just goes together like a like a kit you'd buy at the store, except it's full scale. Awesome. Now, what type of license, pilot license, do you need to fly one of these? You need uh, a minimum of what they call light sport. Okay. That's uh, that's the least license that you can get. Okay. Uh, as far as license, and still be able to fly uh, with a passenger. Oh, wow. I'm able to take one passenger. Uh, I'm, it has to be less than 1,320 pounds takeoff weight. Okay. And I can go no higher than 10,000 feet. Must be able to see the ground at all times. So all VFR at all times it has to be VFR. Here at that, guys. Now, is there any type of limitations as to, like, how far you can fly? I know there are limitations, uh, like, time of the day or weather conditions, things like that. But do you have a limitation on range? 
no limitation. I've got 30 gallon tanks in here, about six gallons an hour. That's, okay. Uh, that's five hours at 120 knots. Uh, my bladder's good for about two hours. So. <laughs> good. I don't think I can stay more than two hours in any of these airplanes. So, so that's that's good to know. Now, is there anything specific that you want to do with this? Like, what's your general mission? If, if I were to ask you right now. You know, what would be a general mission with this airplane? I'm asking for, you know, someone who may want to get into building one of these. Okay, uh, my, uh, my goal is to finish this, uh, get it certified, get it totally flyable, mm -hmm. and then put it up for sale and start building another one. Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> So, so you actually you have more fun and passion building it than actually flying it long term. You, well, I think I enjoy flying it, but okay. uh, while I'm flying it, I'll be building another one, and hopefully when it's done, I'll have this one sold. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Now, do you plan to just stick with Zenith, or you, you're you thinking of building, maybe in the future you, you see, because there, there's a lot of good home-built uh, kits in the market today. There are hundreds out there yeah. that I've been looking at. And uh, I like Zenith. I may stay with Zenith. Zenith uh, has another airplane called the 801, I believe. It is four passengers. You oh, need wow. a full pilot's license. And I've been thinking about going that route, too. Oh, OK. That's awesome. Now, two last questions. With the, uh, the your interior still coming up now, do you plan to have anything extra as an avionics? Like, what avionics are you planning to put in there? All right, the avionics that comes with it, it's at home right now. It's oh, wow, Dynon. So, that's included in the kit, uh, yes, but not in the price. Not in the, okay, <laughs> okay, so it's an option that you opt that's in for option. when you when you so, but you have it already that you're gonna, I have it. Um, it's a it's a flat screen like a tablet okay that attaches right to the dashboard and then it's got all the cables in the and the boxes and all behind it on on a flight deck right right underneath here yeah okay and all your cables and wires and everything go in there and it displays on this tablet it's got three screens it has one for all your engine information your tachometer engine heat etc cetera, etc cetera. another one for your flying for your altitude, your speed, uh, outside air temperature, that sort of thing. And another section mm -hmm. is a moving map okay. that also has what they call ADSB. That is a okay. uh, new thing coming out, but it shows weather and other airplanes in your area that have the ADSB. That's pretty awesome so you can for see traffic, traffic and stuff. Around. See, and that come that's an option. I've heard a lot of good things about dining, by the way, so that's a that's a pretty uh, cool option you went for. Yep. Now, are you building this all by yourself? All by myself. All by yourself. Do you have like an estimate when you'll be done with this airplane? I am hoping I'm shooting for March 15th to be flying. Are you serious? Okay, so you you're actually planning to be done with this literally in a month, less than a month. Less than a month. Wow, that's that's fast. Well, I got a little bit of electrical to do. I got my dashboard to do. Finish up the wings and doors. I'm working on that today and okay. get it inspected and off we go. How many hours would you say you would have invested in building this? Oh somewhere around 1500 right 1500 now. wow so you actually you spent a lot of time each day building this a lot of time in my garage a lot oh, wow. of it was in my garage where i could had a spare hour half hour i go down and work on it a little bit wow that's awesome awesome probably now my last question would you mind sharing the price for someone if i were to build one of these today what am i looking at with the dining option that you mentioned earlier uh, you want to know the bottom line how much i got in here yeah me break it down a little bit. <laughs> hey break it down a little bit for me for okay. somebody who needs or who was looking to to build one of these from here back uh-huh just the airplane part uh -huh. is 26 grand okay just right. the frame just just the frame okay now from here forward is about 25 grand okay we're at 51 right, there so now we're we're bouncing up towards uh, over 50. Yep. Now with the Dynon package and all, and I got the the, the, the touch view, I think, or sky, sky view. Sky view, I think is what it's called. And the big 10 inch, because I got old eyes. <laughs> and uh, that was another 15, 16 grand. Wow, So okay. we're looking right around close to 70 grand. 
70 total. Which is little, you know, with all, plus all the tools. I had to buy all kinds of tools. I had to buy a, a drill press, had to buy a sand, uh, stand up sander, I had to buy an angle grinder. Oh, wow. Uh, lots of tools you have to buy. They, they send you a few, but not near enough. Okay. So you're, you're looking more like, I would say, 75, 80. Yeah, complete. bottom line. Bottom line. And that's if you build it yourself. If you were to go to someone and have it built, then you're probably looking at, at more uh, for, for it. Well, maybe not because they've already got the tools, so you don't have to pay uh, for all their tools. But I would say but definitely the service. 75 is what they're going for in the, in the papers. Okay, awesome. Okay, thank you so much, Bill. Uh, again, this is the Zenit CH750, and Bill is building one right now. He has, you said, 15 days, literally. In about 20 days, he's expected to fly uh, this airplane. So thank you, Bill.